Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Coffee with the Moms. Lisa's here today, and yes, guys, I'm in my car. I'm in my car, going to work. It is 7 o'clock in the morning. Yes. And I gotta be there at 7 till 5.30, which is gonna be a really long day. I can just feel it now. Yes. So, I wanted to come on here and tell you guys that me and Nicole are not like the perfect mom. Okay, we, we are not. We're not the perfect mother at all. You guys know how organized and prepared I am for everything. Well, I'll tell you this. I am not prepared to go on this Hershey trip. I'll be very straight honest with you. Nicole is packed, ready to go. I can't believe she's ready to go right now. And I'll tell you this. I've had a lot to do this week. Like, too much and I've been so busy and you guys I lost my voice can you I can't even talk and I'm trying to talk to you guys I lost my voice I'm so scratchy my throat hurts my sinuses I think it's allergies something's going on and oh, my back is killing me I don't know I'm just falling apart for this for this trip but I'm just hoping my kids don't get whatever I have so Anyway, um, it's kind of funny because, like, I can deal with this sickness. I can deal, like, you you can put me anywhere. You can even put me in a bar, and I'm sick, and I'll be fine, you know? But it's funny that I not prepare for this Hershey trip. You guys, I am not the perfect mother. I am not. I'm going to be straight honest with you. But I'll tell you this. I like to be organized, I like to be prepared for this trip, and I'm not, I'm not, but I, oh my goodness, so I gotta work until like 5.30 today, and then all I gotta do is pack, pack, pack. I didn't even pack the, I pulled out the suitcases, that's the only thing I did. I pulled out food, I pulled out some things, but I gotta pack, and I don't like my husband packing. I'll be straight. I don't know if you wives out there don't like your husband to pack things. Uh, they, I don't know. My husband, I love my husband, but I'll tell you this. I will tell you this. He doesn't coordinate colors very well for the kids. Like, the kids will wear, like, blue and blue. I'm like, he looks like a freaking Jolly Rancher, okay? Or he wear, you know... I don't know if the kids just, I don't know if he says, what do you want to wear? I have no idea. But I have to pack the kids because he does forget things and he doesn't think that we're going to need things like like a sweater just in case, you know, until if it gets a little cold or rainy or whatever, that kind of thing. Umbrellas, ponchos, anything like that. Sunscreen, like he's not going to think about that. He just wants to get it done, to be honest with you. So gonna park my car but I can't I I'll be honest with you guys I, I I'm not that perfect mother I'm not and I wish I was at times but uh, it's tough it's tough to be a mom I will tell you that especially a working mom a working mom is just like me and Nicole work our butts off and we have to work um I wish we didn't have to, you know, at times I do. I wish I was a stay-at-home mom. But if I was a stay-at-home mother, I would go crazy. I don't know. I think I would go more crazy than, than usual. But, um, yeah. So, this trip, I want to tell you about, we're going to Hershey Park. Now, if you guys never been to Hershey Park, it's in PA. It's like six hours, six and a half hours away from us. But, anyway, um, Nicole lives... Now, me and Nicole are, like, best friends. Nicole lives, like, an hour and 45 minutes away from me. An hour and 30 minutes. Now, here's the thing. She's taking a separate route, and I'm taking a separate route. Okay? The nice thing is, we're meeting up in... It's, like, Bath, New York, around there. Um, so, even though we're in the same highways, like... That kind of, but she's going a different highway and I go and then it meets up in Bath, New York. It's crazy, guys. Google is so cool. So even when we meet up, she's going to leave like 
I think um, a half hour after me and I'm gonna leave a half hour before her because um, we're gonna meet up like in Bath but anyway um, they Google's pretty cool because Google will show you where to meet how cool is that so when we reach when we reach the destination or wherever we are I'm gonna call her up and be like okay take your phone and then what we do is we link it together basically and then um and then it'll show you like where to meet up and I think that's super super cool damn technology these days you just never know like I mean my husband found out that kind of thing so anyway I'm not really good at technology I'm I'm not really good at like even like YouTube like Nicole's pretty good at like YouTube and stuff like that I'm not like I am not good at technology I'm like so old school too like I didn't even have like an Instagram <laughs> for the longest time and then I didn't even have a Facebook you know I didn't even have a Facebook okay for the longest time I just got it like last year in January <laughs> but uh, I'm a very private person but going on YouTube you're not very private anymore but anyway Hershey's gonna be awesome I'm so excited super excited um, the kids are excited um, I don't know if my little one understands I don't think her little one understands a lot either but it's it's a great place to be and we're gonna be like we're going to the zoo we're going to um, the park we're going out to eat we're going a couple other you know things and um, we're gonna be vlogging there and um, we're gonna do a couple like little chit chat things I guess and um, Nicole's gonna post something tomorrow you know and it's gonna be fun we're super fun girls you know and we like to make everything super fun and um, yes but anyway I wanted to tell you guys the reason why I wasn't prepared this week is because I had so much to do now I've been I've been um, working on Disney World and I'll tell you this Disney World is a pain in the butt to plan planning for Disney World is stressful I went my mother she's not planning it she's like here you go my mom's giving us like this nice gift okay she's like you plan it I'm like me planning it for seven people are you crazy and she goes she's like Lisa I've been doing this for a long time it's your turn she's like I'm just going and I'm just gonna follow I said okay I mean granted thank you mom for this trip you know I that kind of thing so yeah planning for seven people is a pain so I call it travel agent and I'll be honest with you I went to a travel agency everything was fine and uh, everything didn't go well I am not going to lie everything was messed up and um, usually th there should be people that should be specialized in Disney World now I think she was but here's the thing I deal with clientele I'm a hairdresser I deal with clientele okay The hairdresser is supposed to ask the questions to the client, right? It's the same thing as a travel agent. She's supposed to be asking, where would you want to stay? How many days did you want to go? Blah, 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 blah. Well, I'll tell you this. I was doing more of the talking than she was. And she didn't ask me. There was no guidance. I haven't been to Disney World in 11 years, 10, 11 years. And I'll tell you this. Everything has changed with Disney World. And you got to plan everything, every single little thing, everything you plan, like every day you plan, every restaurant needs to be planned, everything, every like attractions and stuff like that. And I'm going for like eight days, seven nights. Crazy, right? She messed everything up. She got our names wrong. She spelled everybody's name wrong. I went back there and I talked to her and then everything was fine and I gave her so many chances and I'm so I'm such a nice person because I give my client my clients give me chances so I'm like verse versa on that and I'll be honest with you she 
I gave her too many chances, you know, and she messed everything up and I'm talking everything. So when I went back there, everything was fine. Then the following Monday I came and she blamed stuff on Disney. And I said, okay. And she's like, well, I got, she's like, well, this is spelled wrong and Disney spelled it wrong. And I'm like, okay. And then I told her, I said, I have my confirmation number for my, for my, um, airlines because we're doing like the Mickey Express. If you guys don't know what that is, it's a bus that takes you from the airport to your hotel and you don't, you don't have to worry about your luggage or anything, but you need this confirmation number. And I knew about it because I went to Disney before and I was on the phone with her and I said, I had my confirmation. She goes, I already took care of that. I'm like, okay. So I called Disney. I called Disney and they said they have no access to my account because I went through this travel agent. I said, he says, all I could see is the day you're arriving and where you're staying. And these are the people's names. So, okay. I said, but you can't change it. He's like, I'm not allowed to until the day you arrive. I said, oh, okay. So she blamed it on Disney for spelling our names wrong. And it was just like, just kind of just say, hey, I messed up. I'm sorry. That kind of thing. I was so stressed. I was so stressed. And then I went on the My Disney ex Experience um, app and it shows you like all of our names and all of our names were not there. Like my name was there. My husband's name was there. Everybody else's name was not there. My mom's, my sister's, my kids. And I was pissed. I'm like, what the heck? So I went back there and I'll tell you this. I was not a happy person. I was not. I said, I want my money back or, um, if you guys are willing to work with me, I'll work with you. You know, and I said, this is just ridiculous. And I was so upset. I was actually, my emotions got to me because I want this, I want this trip to be epic for my kids and I want it to go smoothly. It's not going to go smoothly, but I just really wanted to plan out everything and make sure our names are there, you know, that kind of thing. Well, here's the thing. She fixed everything. Everything was fine. Okay. Then I asked her, I asked the new trap, my new travel new girl that I wanted okay she was so nice everything she called she called me up because um I had to talk to the manager and I kind of complained a little bit and that kind of thing but I they set me up with a new girl she called me she was so so nice and she goes she apologized that's all that's all I needed it was apology you know and then I asked her I said can you see if my confirmation number is on there? I just want to make sure it's there. And she's like, oh, for your Mickey Express the bus. I said, yes. She goes, it's not there. She goes, you didn't give it to her. I said, I asked her if you could put it in there. And she said, it's all taken care of. I would be stranded in Orlando Airport. And you guys know... Orlando Airport is probably one of the biggest airports because I've been there before and it's huge. It is so big. I would be stranded there with six other people, okay? It would be not a good one. I would be pissed. I am not going to lie. My claws would come out a little bit. <laughs> but that's why this whole week has been stressful and... Then I had to redo some other things for Disney, and it's just a lot. It's just a lot. But anyway, everything is all good to go for Disney World, so now I'm just trying to plan other things for Disney. And I actually told Nicole, I said, I gotta go old school. I need, like, a book. So I went to Barnes & Nobles, and I actually got, like, a Disney World book just to refresh my memory because everything has changed. But I... I'm going to take this book with me to Disney on the way because I can read on the way there and um, it won't get me sick or anything but this ride is like a six, six and a half hour six hour drive with kids for Hershey and I'm dreading it 
because last year was pretty tough. So I'm hoping this year will be good. And I'm going to like post like um, a video like after this one, like the activities I'm gonna do with my kids, like what I'm bringing for them. And it's a lot, it's a lot of activities because my kids get bored so fast. I don't know what it is. But anyway, I wanted to jump on here and just say, you know, have a good 4th of July. And me and Nicole will be like, you know, um, posting videos throughout our trip. So stay tuned because we're, you know, we're pretty fun together. I'm not going to lie. We kind of get our like crazy side out. But um, yeah, and then you guys have a good 4th of July. You know, have a drink for me, you know, that kind of thing. Because I don't drink <laughs> a lot. But um, and have a good one, guys. We'll see you on our next one. Bye.